Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you um, have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe of insight, please, you know, uh, you know, give a thumbs up or even share. And the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's Metaverse of Self. I was like, I heard my girl talk about that the other day. Uh, Kendra J. Um, and, um... I was like, what the heck is Metaverse? And I went to go look at this stuff. And like I tell y'all, anytime I'm using somebody's stuff and I heard something, I'm going to show them I'm giving that, they that on props. And it was just like, let me go ahead and look and see what this is. I'm like, you know, I want to invest in this or what? I, this is something I want to talk about, you know, that I heard or whatever. You know, to bring it towards my channel or whatever. And it was just like, I was sitting up here talking about the other videos, talking about evolution is not. And it's just like, you're in your own Metaverse of self. You really are. It's like you bringing a whole new currency. Whether you know it or not, you bringing a whole new currency. You see what um, holds you back. You see what um, makes you at a, a vibration of a low level. It's, it, you see where um, you know certain situations and certain uh, experiences can have you throwed off. Like, okay, is this important? What you're trying to do to get towards that next level? Because you're already there. You're already there. That's the reason why stuff getting up so hot right now. Because it's like, you know, God and uh, Spirit want me to talk about. It's like, yeah, you on that level. You're on that level because it's just like when I'm saying that you hitting things, like things is coming at you crazy. Things is coming at you crazy. And it just feels like, you know, you hit that vibration where it seems like God is testing you so much through different things. And I mean, it's not petty stuff. It could be with your health. It could be with other people's health. It could be with your family. You know, different things where people are coming up sick. You know, all these different things is where it's testing you to where, you know, it is wanting to make you fall back. And this is God was like, you know, these things may be hard for you. These are things that, you know, uh, is taking place for a reason. You know, we're all going through a circle of life. We're going through a rebirth of so many different things. And it's just like, if we did, if we did not go through any hardship, the pettiness would crush us. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, and you know what I'm talking about. There'll be different things that'll come at you and it'll be petty. It's all petty. And I'm not talking about Tom Petty. I'm not talking about Dicky Petty. You know, it was just like, you know, you going petty, petty. And it's just at that time, I'm going to put these th different things in your life that's going to make you challenge you. I'm going to put certain things in your life that's going to rip your family apart where I'm trying to tell you to hold it together. I'm building you a whole new vibration. I'm building you in a whole new way. You know, you, you bring it in different currency in your life. You, you, you know, you add more business value towards your life. Whatever you're working on to materialize into your future, into your future, you manifest it. This is creating that through the substance of the situations that you're going through. So I was just like, hold up now. Hold up now. Different things. It was just like while I was talking, it was just like spirit. You know what I said? What I said in my last video, I ain't going to say it again. But it was just like, is this what was really happening? They really thought I was going to fall for that? You fall for one thing. You It was like when you don't hold yourself up. When they say, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for everything. And it was just like, they really, I was like, did he just pay me for a simp? No. This ain't about to happen. <laughs> I was like, this is not about to happen. But it was just like, you showing up for yourself, fam. You really are showing yourself. And it's just like, when I think about it, it make me think about that bulldog off of Tom and Jerry be walking around all like this and stuff like that. And it's telling you, you better, better hold it from the death of your chest. You know, this is at that time where, you know, things is hitting deep. It's going to come at you. You're going to feel tired. You ain't going to feel motivated. But this is at that time. It's like you. Because you don't. You don't purge so much. You don't allow yourself to face so much. You're going through different things. And it's like right now with the conjunction going on. It's so many people dealing with personal demons right now. And it could be people trying to trigger you. It could be different people trying to block you. Trying to sabotage you. Make you sabotage yourself. You may be going through a vibration where you, you, you're seeing where you're self-sabotaging. You allowing different things to be at that uh, purpose of where it's telling you this ain't about this is not your, a part of your life anymore. These are uh, ah, I'm trying to no no. Ugh. I'm trying to sit up here and play no. <laughs> I'm not, I ain't trying to play no uh, daggone uh, 
advertise me and copyright my butt but anyways you going through different things where it's showing you where you sabotage yourself where you uh you um you know went through these different things in your life where um you know you going as soon as i said this the daggone crazy movie your unborn done came up so it's just showing you how you dealing with different devils anybody ever seen the movie unborn this is a whole now nah, i ain't talking about that one it's like jumpy ready to play now i ain't talking about that one. i ain't talking about that one but it's a whole new different one when you dealing with kind of like you know upgrade a rosemary baby i'm like hell to the no you know let that be late <laughs> i'm like no i'm not about to do that but you know and it is just like you dealing with different things. It's like you on them different devils. And it's just like there'll be some of them devils that's coming at you in a whole new way. You got to stay woke, baby. You got to stay woke. This is at that time where if you done been asleep on yourself, this is like wake up. You know, wake up, goddamn. You know what made me feel about old boy when he said it. Wake up, goddamn. You know, um. But these are those different things. You're on a metaverse of yourself. You're going through a huge trans transformation. Your soul is going through a surgery. And when you're going through that, you know, you're dealing with dark night of the soul. But when you're dealing with that dark night of the soul, you can, hey, you already know what I'm talking about. That mess is hitting you in so many different ways that you, I mean, it's hitting deep. It's it's like when I say it's coming from the, it's coming from the gutlet. You know, and you really feeling it. And it's just like, I'm tired of going through this. I'm tired of being this. I'm tired of going through that. You going through a rebirth. Just like they showing right here. Sonogram, you going through a rebirth. This is how I know. Different, different, so I'm like, why is it, you know, I'm trying to come up and get my, you know, my, my vibration on and stuff like that. Why is all this coming up? Because everything is coming to you. You don't start seeing magic in all different ways. Magic is all around you, baby. Magic in your words. Magic in your thoughts. You can see where you're being controlled. You can see where you're being manipulated. You can see where somebody trying to throw you off. You know, misery, love, and company. This is at that time where you, it ain't time to rest. This is at that time where you're on the, you're on the cusp of something. You're on, really on the cusp of something. And these are those different things where your whole vibration, when I'm telling you, I'm, I'm right here and my vibes is just like, done shot up real quick. And I'm sending those beautiful vibes towards y'all way. Because you need it. If you need it, if you need it. If not, it's just going to be a little extra. But, you know, these are those different times where it's showing you. You in that metaverse of yourself. If you on that business vibration, this is really going to give you that, that extra oomph. You know, you may have been feeling low for the last few days. You may have been feeling like giving up the last few days. You may, may have felt like you've been breaking. Or it's just like, God, why are you putting so much in my life? I'm only, um, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm going through. You are not a human. You shoved in that daggone suit, but you are not human, baby. You evolution. You know, you built up. You a beast. In, beast in structure. You a beast in training. You know, it's really, you already that beast. But it's like these situations going to really show you how powerful you truly are. You don't have different things that's going to come against you. You're going to have so many different things that's going to try to throw you off to where, you know, it's just like, God, I've been in my purpose. You've been asking me to help people. I've been helping people. You've been asking me to forgive people. I've been forgiving people. I've been even forgiving folks that ain't even damn sorry for the stuff they did. And now i got to keep constantly dealing with this. It's like, yeah, you're constantly dealing with it. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I mean, I'm like, I'm going to talk to you. It's like, oh, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you through spirit. I told you, I'm going to put you through some things. I'm taking you through a process. And you're going to be happy about it. Trust my time and trust to unfold. You know, and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. It really is. It's hard to be able to do that at times. You know, when you're going through different things into your life. And it's like challenge after challenge after challenge. You know, and I, you know, y'all tell me or I even feel it. You know, even the ones that I feel that are going against me, I feel what you're going through. You know. You know, I say, even though you putting it on the wrong person, hey, I feel you, fam. And I'm still saying, I said, God bless you, and I'm still sending you healing vibes. You know, you go through those different things in life where, you know, it makes you feel unsure about your life. It makes you feel unsure about everything. And these are the things that's going on for you where it's going to be, you're going to be your own power source. You're going to be your own power source, and you're going to understand why people chose to manipulate you. Why people choose to sit up here and, um... You know, uh, take your kindness for weakness. You know, why people want, even though when you felt confidence about yourself, they wanted, to, you know, just wanted to take it all away. You know, I mean, you know you so powerful is when you magnet and the daggone narcissist out in the world. You needed those type of people. And it was even, I was reading a um, post that I, I forgot to post, put up today where 
hell because it's just like you you i mean some people can connect with you and they feel all kind of insecurities jealousy envy or whatever you know and it's going to come out just by the actions that they have towards you even though when you didn't you didn't present that within yourself but it's just showing you to show them exactly where they need to work on themselves this is like we do it to each other all the time because we're going through so many different things and there'll be some people that will plug into you and feel that love that you have they see that you were that wounded warrior but you showing up you showing up and showing out you know and they're going to be there for you it's like man I feel that love that same love rise through my veins those are certain things that God prepared me for that prepared you for too and you done been through that route you done been through those wars and I'm here with you you know you don't have those different people that's going to sit up here and be praising you from afar and these are those different things that you're going through and you're going to need each and every one of those things, whether it's good or bad, because this is showing you how you really are. Because a lot of times we we put our power in the wrong situations. We put our power in trying to, you know, manipulate things on going in our favor. And I mean, it'll be the different things where we trying to speed up stuff um, towards what our purpose is supposed to be about or what you're wanting into your life and what you need a lot of times we don't realize we sabotage our own self we manipulate our own self a lot of times god will feed that like hey i need you to do this and then it's like okay you need me to do this and how come it didn't work because we're showing you where you needed that help at i'm gonna give you what i'm gonna give you and it's like it is like and i only gave you a snippet about what i said i was gonna give you but I needed you to go through those hiccups. I needed you to go through those doors that didn't open for you. I needed you to do that. Because I'm showing you where if I tell you I'm going to give you something, I'm going to give it to you. But it's not going to be on your time. It's going to be on mine. You got to be able to trust me on that. And it's going to be hard to be able to trust me. This is where I'm really triggering your faith. Because there's so many different things that's going to show you to make you think I'm not there for you. I ain't got your back. But these are the different things where he's telling you to open that door, receive all that. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you you. I'm going to show you where you stand. I'm going to show you who's there for you. I'm going to show you who's not there for you. This this is where you're going through it. I don't promise you this. I had to put you in a line of destruction. To open you up to lead you towards that path of promise. That's going to hold a powerful purpose. You know, you're going through all these different things. You're going through it. Hold on, y'all. Let me pause this. Sorry about that, y'all. I almost got it to write something down. I'm like, let, let me not do that. That's so rude. Let me not do that while I'm doing my video. But yeah, you going through different things in your life where it's really, it had to open up that door of chaos into your life. You had to let chaos and you had to let confusion and you had to let drama in to where it's just like, you going to be like this where you, you getting it all from, you know, it's just like you st sitting here like this with your knees to your face and it's going to be enough. You know, when you say enough, it's going to have a ripple effect for whatever it is not it's supposed to be entitled to your life that is consistent with your life, consistent with your purpose, is going to rip apart. So this is the fact that you making your own metaverse up to your life. You holding new new foundation. You creating new foundation. You building on new foundation. This is going to be concrete of certainty. You know, and you had to be able to go through these. It's like you, you evolving in different ways, like you your own power source. Like you don't need nothing. When you re recharge, you you just need you. You recharge. You you it's like you one of those you know those cars that you just plug up. <laughs> you just plug up. You don't need all the excess stuff that regular cars do that you aren't built like that. You know, and a lot of times we feel like I can't take no more. I can't do this. I don't have that. You know, because we put our energy in things that weren't relevant. We put our energy in people that weren't relevant. We put our situation where we allow things to linger a lot more when it was just supposed to show that experience and learn from it and move on. We went through that. And that's okay. Because you learn it. This is where I put my thought processes. This is where I put my focus in. I created this own confusion for myself because I allowed my mind to emulate something like that when it's not supposed to. It was just supposed to give me that lesson of blessing and for me to move on and say, okay, this is what it, you know, this, let me allow myself to cut that power source off. If something coming up and it still can hold that emotion, it's just like, leave it, leave it be. I already handled that. God is already telling you, I already handled that. And even when different things coming off into your life. And it can hurt you deep. And God is like, I, I saw that. I peeped that. And I already took control of that. I don't took that. 
But I'm just giving you that insight and letting you see if you saw that. You know, these are the things that's gonna show you when you when you when you loving yourself, it ain't gonna be matter how it ain't gonna matter how other people define you. When you know you ain't entertaining it, it hey, it's just showing you where they at. Where their mind space at, where their energy is at. This is that, that time where we created you to move forward. And it's just like when you're moving forward, you're gonna catapult in different ways. You know, we're gonna bring this resistance here to see if you gonna be the resistance. E. You know, you you gonna allow yourself to just like bust through it. You hitting corners. You know. And you doing that as soon as I seen it, it made me think about um, like er, 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 made me think about DMA. She's like hitting them four corners. <laughs> you can go on through that. Um, and you going through this and it's showing you a lot of times when we feel like, you know, you your ancestors and you you know, it could be one of your family members. And I see that you have family coming to you and it's trying to mind, remind you you're not on your own. You got this, you know, even though you feel like you ain't got no more left in you, you ain't got no more fight left in you. Yes, you do. I didn't build you like that to make you feel like you can fold or quit. You ain't folding and you ain't quitting. You know, or I might just go ahead and turn that heat up to the point where you get so pissed off, you're going to stop off on your own anyway. And you know God going to be clucking at you like, try it. That's why I'm putting that on you like that and be like, don't play with me. Don't do that. I'm sensitive. You know, it'll be one of those moments. But this is telling you, you metaverse of yourself. You, I mean, you're going through, you under construction in the best way. It ain't even in the worst way. You, For your enemies, it's going to be your, their worst way. But for you, it's going to be your best way. You know, everything that went against you, everything was for you, everything that nurtured you, everything that, you know, backpedaled on you, it was needed for that. That was that, that ingredient you needed to get to where you at. Because I see all of us, when I say all of us, even though you may not feel it, when you know you have gone through that, and when I'm seeing, sorry if I'm looking up, y'all, because I'm, I'm visualizing, they're showing me that. And it's just like you standing at that door, giving praises about being out there. You know, you just waiting for that door to open. Or a lot of times, the door is open and you facing this way. And you're like, why are you facing that way? Because you still focus on what happened back there when they're telling you to move forward. About face, this is what you're doing. And it's, it's it, they know what you're going through. They know what you're going through. That, you know, it's like this happened, this happened, folk. This happened, this, this, this happened. We said we understand that, but we already done took care of that. Stay focused. Stay focused. This is what I told you. What did I tell you? Regardless on what's going on. And that's why we got these distractions the way they are. These are the things that's going to keep us moving forward. Even though it's going to trigger your faith. It's going to trigger your patience. It's going to trigger your belief. Your your belief in self. Your confidence in self. You know we're going to have. It's like I'm not going to just do this. Where somebody don't put your mail in the wrong, wrong thing. I'm going to have somebody hit you in the car. Or I'm going to have you sit up here. And have family members coming up starting to ish with you. Or I'm going to have somebody jump in line in front of you after you done waited in line for a long time. Or you've been waiting in the line for a long time. And then somebody tell you, hey, I got to go to lunch. No, the hell you don't now. I've been waiting in this line for, you know, been sitting up here smelling pookie in them back here. And, you know, man, having to deal with somebody sitting up here humming and farting and junk like that. And then you're going to tell me you're getting time for lunch. And you ain't talked to me yet. No, ma'am. No, you're not. Come back. You know, don't make me come back after, you know, don't make me jump over that daggone, uh, that, that desk on you. You know, be one of those type of vibrations where it's non-stop. It's non-stop. You going through this and, and, and it's just like, you know, you like tired. You know, it'll be just like you running that marathon. You know, running that marathon and then it'll be some, and it'll be that, like that type of situation where... When you run it and you're, you know, you getting, you know, you getting that cramp right here. When you breathe, every time you breathe, it hurts to breathe. Or your legs are starting to give out. And you get into that place where you at. And then you just out of some kind of blessing, somebody comes up. There's two people that's coming up on each side. And they holding that, you know, that baton. And they, come on, fam, we got this. We got you. We don't leave nobody behind. And that's exactly what you're going through right now. The devil wants you to feel like you this ain't going to never end for you. Your enemy is going to just show you this ain't going to never end for you. God is like, I'm using this to prepare you. You keep going regardless on what they doing over here. You stay focused on me. You know, he directing you. He wanted to get on the airplane. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
You know, and these are those different things where it's just showing you. I'm showing up for you, but you, I need you to show up for yourself. And I mean show up and show, I want you to show up and show out. This is what I want you to do. I don't sit up here and made you. I made you perfect in my image. Your family don't sit up here. Out of everybody in the family, they picked you to do your purpose. Not nobody else, but picked you. Regardless on how you your family treats you, I picked you for this. This is where your ancestors done came in. And the ones that picked you is the ones that keep showing up. You may see them in the dreams. You may have images of them. They're helping you right now in ways that you never seen come. There'll be people that you ain't even meet that is just 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 drawn to you, awake and you know around here in the world and up there. They set up your crying tears of joy. They gonna get it. They don't realize how how they right on that cliff. They on a, you know on a, a jumping cliff moment. And I ain't talking about you know taking yourself out, but you jumping cliffs. To where you're leaving behind what other people have said about you. You're leaving behind the opinions about you. You're leaving behind the people that feel like they're inferior to you. Or whatever. All these different things. You know, you're leaving behind the enemies that think they're going to stop you. You're leaving behind all that. Everything that you have faced. Everything that you have gone through. You needed all that. And when I say you needed all that. You needed all that to get to where you are. You see how things have changed you. You see how, um, you know, you have changed. You see different things that you feel is acceptable and you have let them go. You have not tolerated the things that you need to see that's not acceptable. All these different things is changing you for the better. And these are the things that's going to take you to that next level. That next level you weren't anticipating. You don't probably put yourself on a gold meter, you know, and you be right here. And just for the things that you have gone through, just because the resistance that came in, even when you showed up for yourself when you were tired. Even when you showed up when you were pissed off, you still was trying to sit up here and bring something in that was positive to make sense out of something that was very confusing for you. Just because you did that, you realize you don't just jump just like that. You slaying demons every day on day when you showing up for yourself. And I remember I made a video about that the other day. You shaming. You shaming the devil. You shaming the demons. You doing that. Today didn't start off a good day for me. But I was just like the hell with that. You know like Bernie Mac. You know I'm just not going to do this today. I'm not going to do this. I'm showing up and showing out for my day. The devil is not going to win today. It's not going to win tomorrow. It's not going to win ever. You know, it's one of those moments for me. Because I was like, I'm trying to make sense of this. And God was like, go ahead. God asked me, can I go ahead and do this? Go ahead. And you would know exactly what I was doing. And I was like, okay. Okay. You're making a metaverse out of yourself. Even when it's like, don't ever feel like the dreams that, that this been, you've been invested in. Don't ever feel like they're way too big. They can't not be accomplished it can't be possible for you and these are the different things that's taking place into your life that's creating that for you you are the impossible to, to make possible you are exactly that person god will sit up here and put a little a little uh, like, like a little crumb he will make something out of a crumb and invest it with you and it will blow up it will be bomb with you he was like that's that whole new flex that i was preparing through all that and they didn't even realize that they were all it's like you got so many different things that came against you so many different things that told you no now it's like oh you said no how about i do it and go ahead and take pictures twice post them on oh my god on social media just for you to sit up here and say that i you said i couldn't do it how about that because the main ones that said no to you were scared that you would make it a whole powerful yes. And that's what you're doing. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Much love to you. I would love to give a post notification shout out. Alexander St. Um, Anger. I don't know. Angel. I almost Lord. I almost say angel. Uh, but you still an angel in my eyes. Whatever. My little silly angel. <laughs> uh, uh, the the uh, Diva Cara. Much love to you as well. And um, Lauren Harrison, much love to you. And Authentically Speaking and Timberwolf, much love to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Um, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. And as well as, you know, it's all about spiritual networking, being able to give you a deeper understanding about your purpose. I love to be a part of that with other people. You know, we speak one-on-one -on -one if you don't feel like it's comfortable enough to speak on the tube of you. I totally get it. I always tell people, hey, email me. You know, look me up. 
you know we can um talk and go from there you know do it from there whatever we speak on is uh confidential and i help out the best way i can and i never sit up here to judge nobody make them feel like whatever you're going through you crazy no because what we go through is not it's not normal it's not usual we go through some very very extra stuff because <laughs> they made us to be extra so i help out the best way i can so um I also leave my uh, link to my podcast as well. And if you feel that you're generous enough, please, you know, drop a donation. It's greatly appreciated. And um, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know, I send so many beautiful energies your way that will bust doors open that you never seen coming and you never thought you would walk through. And, you know, please stay persistent and consistent with yourself because the enemy really trying to make you fold and make you give up on your dreams. You know, hey, your blessings may be here tomorrow. Just be here tomorrow. That's why you try to make you give up today. So keep going. You know, make sure you go out, you know, even through social distancing. Thing. You know, give out love, like positivity, words, vibe, frequencies. You know, though you never know, those things really take somebody a long way. And even, um, you know, even for you just participating and doing that, you know, it's going to take you even further. And um, what is it? Be, please be safe and responsible in everything you do. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. I love you. See you on the next Well, you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.